Cracking down on those who light up in parks. Starting Wednesday, smoking at any Dallas City Park will be illegal. That rule is the same on trails as well. Our Brittany Jeffers live tonight with the city's plan to ease people into this new law. Kaylee, that law technically goes into effect on Wednesday. However, they do have plans to, as you mentioned, ease people into this law. They say they're going to give them a bit of a grace period here or about a one month period. But as soon as that one month is up, they will be ticketed 200 bucks if you're caught smoking in a park or near a trail. If you come to Founders Park, you'll find Wesley Cravey out here several times a week playing a round of disc golf. He had open heart surgery a few months ago and says the buds on the trees and fresh air is almost the perfect place to exercise. The cigarette butts is a big thing, just throwing them all over the place. In two days, lighting up at one of these city parks and trails in Dallas will be illegal. We're really trying to focus on areas where children congregate, either park pavilions, uh, around athletic fields, or playgrounds. Some parents say they've been waiting for it and they don't want it around their kids for health reasons. The fact that they're seeing it and maybe inhaling it, that's, that'll be an issue. Others along the Katy Trail told us while they support a ban, they rarely see it. There's not that much smoking going on, fortunately. Most of the people out here are pretty fit. I think it's probably tough to enforce with some of the folks. Assistant Director of Dallas Parks and Rec, Oscar Carmona, addressed that. So we will be giving everybody a grace period to come into compliance. He told us they'll be easing people into the change, hoping that most will voluntarily follow the rules. But that grace period ends in a month. After that, Rangers or code enforcement will issue tickets. The fine can be up to $200. Now, this only applies to tobacco burning products. We did ask, and vaping and 